I've recorded this about <laughs> like 20 times and I've only got past that now. I've actually said it. Hello. <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway, I'm part of a Facebook group called The Beating and what they do is they put up um, tunes and you, you basically sample them and chop them up and see what you can come up with. I've not listened to the tune at all. It's Labrisifri. He did another tune which Dr. Dre used for M&M's. The first tune, well, first Dr. Dre tune, um, Slim Shady. There you go. Yeah, music's an interesting thing. Coincidentally, for anybody else out, out there who may know, um, on that Labry Sifri tune was Chas and Dave, who did Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. So it shows you. Music's quite a, quite a fantastic thing. Anyway... What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my folders. I've already put it in there. I'm going to pull it out and then just put it on here. All right, and then just play it and see what's what. Okay, something I noticed straight away is it's um, the time signature is 3 4, which it means it's 1 2 3, 1 2 3. And because what we usually do in these chops are kind of hip hop ish, and, and basically most modern music or most music, or what you'll be doing or I do is in 4 4, which is 1 2 3 4. One, two, three, four. So normally my aim would have been is just to scan it and then just hear something and chop it up. I kind of hear something, but I'm going to have to pause because I've got to kind of work through this. But one thing I'm going to show you before I do that quickly is a really quick way of finding like the... Uh, I'm going to find the first beat and work from the first beat, I think... I, it's going to be that because that looks like where something comes in. I'm going to guess here. Huh. All right. Somewhere around here. I know it is. I can hear it. Ah, so I was right. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to come here. That's the first beat. Um, and then I'm going to tap the tempo. So I'm going to play it and then... On the push, I'm going to press tap. You can actually do it from up there as well. So if you want to, just that, since I've got the push, I'm using that. All right, then. So let's see what we get. All right, then. I'm roughly getting, um, I'm going to call it 93 because I like to round things up. So 93 BPM. All right, then I know that this is three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll show you why there's a difference here. If I do it as, as three, as four, four, it's going to go. What you can see, syncopation sounds a bit weird. So what I need to do is say three beats to each bar. From my ears, that sounds a little too fast. So, because I'm going to be working a little fast, I'm going to just say it. I'll take that down by beat. So it's roughly around there. That's just a quick way of finding out beat. If that beat would fall for. I would add it, it would have been in the bag because it's roughly about that and it's a good way of trying to find out tempos. And so I, and now what I can do is I can warp that and it'll just warp to that. Um, I move, the other thing I want to do is I want to move the start of that and I can see it's already there. So click on that um, and that's a warp marker. I'm, I'm working quite fast and I'm going to make some assumptions that anybody who's using, um, seeing this, Kind of knows Ableton. If there's anything that you're not sure of, then just ask me right in the comments or on Facebook or whatnot. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to set my marker point because I know it's... 
is the first beat. I'm going to set that to one. There's n I'm going to tell you something. There's no real ne necessity for me to do this, especially with this type of tune, because it's free fall. It's just a force of habit, because it gives me a sense of, uh, well, at least I'm trying to get it in time. And that's why I always try and do with anything I ever do. I always say, well, at least even if I'm not even going to use it in any time, it just gives me a better sense of feel for where I'm going to go. Second thing is I'm going to try and work with it around this tempo. Usually my head recently has been feeling like bringing things up to kind of a bit more old school speed um, and like 96. So um, I'm kind of a golden era guy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to chop it up because otherwise it'll be like pulling teeth for you. And I'm sure I've probably gone on three minutes long already. All right, so I shall be back. Okay, so um, basically I've put some walk markers, um, which are going to be the chops. Um, I'm going to admit nothing came to mind on this tune. The other tunes I kind of had something, but... This three four, especially the the um, the what's its name, the progressions. They're not my kind of. Uh, uh, not, what I mean by progressions, I mean the chords. Da da da. They're not my kind. I like kind of dark minor or smooth, and this is kind of it's kind of got a poppy feel to it. So nothing has come to mind so far. So what I did is I just took the first hook part, which is a ba da da da, and I've just basically chopped that up into little sections to see what comes up with that so what i've got at the moment is all right um here we go <laughs> and that's it so it's gonna go da 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 che da 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 che da da che and the little ch at the end, I can get rid of actually. Um, and it's not really a loop, but it's just a section, which means it'll be a little easier for me to work with. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chop that up. How you get that is you, you simply right hand click, go down a slice new MIDI, slice new MIDI. I always make sure it's on warp markers. You've got different choices, transient. Warp markers, the reason why I always say use warp markers is because you're going to get exactly what you want. You're not going to sort of get the bits. You'll get exactly what you want. Transients is good, but it can miss certain things. So the transients just means it'll just pick up where these are. But suppose if you want something like there, it's not going to pick it up. Um... What usually MPC folks probably come from, and a lot of folks will just do it on the beat, so they'll chop to quarter beats and all that. What? Yeah, I'm not too good with that. I'm only good with that if if that loop's perfect and you don't really care for your oak, so you you just kind of just playing around with the sound and it doesn't have to be precise. Then I would use the notes. But I'd say it's always better to use warp markers because you'll get exactly what you want. And then here's my preset what I created. There's a lot of different presets in here. Um, the built-in one and so on and so forth. But the one I've done is I've called Proper Chopper. So that's all chopped up into sections. I'm gonna have a mess about with this. And I'll be back in a bit and see what I come up with. All right. Right, I've had another look at this um, and I've found something that's um, a bit more my flavor. In the country, you can still see how it used to be before we. I like that. In the country, oh, it's got nice colors. you can still see how it used to be before we... Yeah, I feel something more on that. Right, you I think I got something funky. Basically, I've chopped it up, so it's like... Right, and then 
I, I messed about with it and I kind of I came with something that I think sounds kind of all right. I'm going to work with it. So some are like it goes like this, like uh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, something. Like Something like that. So I'm going to work on that and I'm going to piece that together. Right. So that was madly out of time. I got in my own, <laughs> I got in my own little world of, of, of beats there. Oh, yeah. All right, the first two, all right. The third one, yeah, I could get funky on that third one. Now, what's really cool about able and you you can see it on here but you because obviously you can't see the machine what you can do is <clears throat> you can go to different sections within um a clip so you're not stuck with the whole clip but working on a clip you can actually break it down in sections so i could just now i've just pressed that it's only gonna loop around one bar it actually shows you down here so if I go again, it's going to loop around two bars. But the beauty thing about it is I can move position. So now it's going to loop around bar three and four because it's starting at three and it's going for two bars. So now I can listen to that and go, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, I'm going to change that. <laughs> Just all them four probably sound all right, to tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling that. All right, then. I'm going to just do some beats. And... I'm going to really wrap this up so you basically see the beginning of it. And what I want people to do is, if you ask me, how did I do that? Then I will do a section on it because, like I said, this is my first attempt at it. And I'm trying not to be lazy. All right. I'll be back. I've just kind of done some rough work on it, really, because I, I wanted to kind of keep it with a time limit. And I'm sure, um, I'm sure I've gone over the time now. I think this was two, uh, two and a bit hours. So um, I'll play you it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fix out the levels which are here. So I'm going to try and fix out the levels um, so it's not clipping. Or if it's clipping, it's slightly red. And then I can take it to a master stage after that to boost it. In the country, you can still see how it used to be before we Hope you like my song, hope there's nothing wrong Might make it better if you sing along Out of way, out there, in get away from the town And then this is what I've done to it In the country, you can still see How it used to be, how it used to be
kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is take it to the next stage and um, it ain't clipping too bad. It's not too bad because um, what I do is I, I always kind of I mix as a go. I don't know if that's a great thing or a bad thing. I always just tend to. It's a lesson I've learned. All right, then. So I'm going to do another Blue Peter job and then I'll just come back with a final mix and um, hope you like it. Right, so um, yeah, I'm I'm not really convinced with that kick, really. Um, I'm uh, yeah, uh, maybe it's because I've got headphones on, so um, I'm gonna just go with it. But usually, I like a bit more, um, a bit more like sharpness on the top of it. But anyway, so what I've done is I've added a mastering rack again. Like I said, I always go for the presets. Me, um, uh, um. I used to have Live 8, so I've used the one from that. Um, it might be my version of Live 9, um, which just doesn't seem to have that many um, effects. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's... All right. Hmm. Yeah, they're there, but it doesn't have the mastering racks. It doesn't seem to have Live 9, and it might just be me. Somebody else can tell me about this. It doesn't seem to have... Same type of effects, there might be just the same effects under different names, but anyway, I've just imported that um, from um, Live 8. Um, so I've done the master rack. What I've done is um, I've took down some of the, the bass because I always have an other finisher, and this is a plug in. This is my go to plug in to tell the truth. Um, an easy mix because it's just really easy. Like I said, I'm trying to stop being lazy, but one day at a time, I guess. <laughs> you just gotta be so easy mix and then and then i'll just go through a few of the presets and just tweak it but there's not really much tweaking you can do with the easy mix it is what it is but it's just like a topper and it gives it a bit more punch and that's it truthfully um i normally do this after i've arranged it but i'm gonna do the arrangement and just play it out so I'm going to leave you with this now. Um, this has been my Chop 133. Uh, you can check the final mix and the final tune and when I've arranged it um, on the, the beat in Facebook and also my SoundCloud. Um, link to my SoundCloud below, obviously. Well, not obvious. Who knows? This has been way more longer than what I wanted it to be, but, well... I hope it was worth it. Um, tell me if I should do more. All right, then. Thanks for um, checking in, and hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. And stop being lazy, like me. All right, see you.